How's everybody doing? Mike here. The channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we are capping off the journey that I took trying to open products from 2023 that I did not actually open in 2023. I wanted to do it all throughout January, but this box of Chronicles came in a little bit late, so we're going to go ahead and finish things off here early in February. We seen uh, last month, we seen Bowman, we seen Select, Bowman Chrome, uh, what else was there? Archives. And now we've got a Chronicles Blaster Box. 30 total cards. And we're going to have six packs. So I'll get to open my two at a time, as I like to do. I always enjoy Chronicles. It's kind of fitting that I believe Archives was my last video that I did. Because they're similar releases using a bunch of older designs. All right, we got a security tag there, nothing else in the box. Let's just make sure we've got our two, four, six packs. All right, we'll let those four warm up back there in the bullpen. Let's go ahead and get our on-deck circle set for the video's best catch and get into these first two packs. Let me know what your favorite design is out of these, uh, out of these packs. I will always be partial to the mosaic which was its own release there for a couple of years. And now I see it's back in 2023, so um, <clears throat> at least in the Chronicles. So I don't think Mosaic, I don't think they're going to make it anymore as its own thing. So again, we're not going to have any current players. It's all going to be retired. And oh, we got a hit right off the bat. Really cool. It's going to be retired in prospects. And we've got a Ty Madden... Gold standard swatches. That's pretty cool. Again, it doesn't say anything like game worn. This one, I don't even see anything where it says player worn. But all right, we have a hit. So I think that might be the first hit I've gotten in a while on the channel, at least for a couple of videos. All right, we got King Felix there. Robin Roberts. They're going to go every which way. J.R. Ritchie. We've got a Jim Palmer. It's pretty nice. And then we end with a Brandon Meyer. So, all right. Successful first couple of packs. I think we have our front runner for the best catch. It would have been nice, you know, since that looks gold. It would have been nice if it were numbered or something like that. Maybe throw a sticker on there for a, a sticker auto. And you never know with Panini. They always say on average, so... Maybe get, we'll get one of those lucky boxes that has a couple of hits. You never know. Warren Spawn. Joe Torrey. Moises Alou Revolution. Jackson Merrill. Fergie Jenkins. And an Obsidian. Zavala. Not familiar with that player, but that's a really cool card. I almost thought it was maybe a parallel, but... Really cool card there. All right, last two packs. I would say a little last two-pack magic, but we already got our hit, so these two packs need some help. Hit that subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Let's send some good vibes here. We got ten cards left. All right, and we start with... Brian Rocchio with a rookie card logo. Not sure how they pull that off. Another one, Nick Gonzalez. So they're using the rookie card logos. Have they been doing it the whole way through? And I'm just now noticing. There's a Francisco Alvarez. It's pretty cool. Revolution. Ben Kudra. Not familiar with him. I'm surprised we haven't we didn't get one numbered card. I know we certainly have some parallels, but. I haven't seen anything numbered. Might have to go back through. All right, and we end with a Fred Lynn. So, all right, pretty anticlimactic. The best catch came in the first pack, unless you disagree, and something else that I opened during the video was better, but we're going to go with the Ty Madden Relic. I thank everyone for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care.